Hey guys, this video will introduce you to the Valsalva Maneuver. Now the Valsalva Maneuver is something that we're all familiar with, we're just not familiar with the name. What it is, is it's the, the bearing down feeling. It's uh, when you try and pop your ears after getting off an airplane or you get out of the pool and you want to pop your ears, um, that's what the Valsalva Maneuver is. It's that bearing down where you're holding your breath, you're keeping your air internalized and you're pushing. Just like when you have a bowel movement. It's one of those things that everyone knows exactly what it is, but it's very hard to describe in words, especially without getting awkward. So, just know that the Valsalva Maneuver is essentially you trying to have a bowel movement. Now, why it's important is in cardiology, the Valsalva Maneuver has two different applications. Uh, the first of which is it increases the parasympathetic activity of the heart. And why that's important is because it can be used to treat supraventricular tachycardias, or SVTs. Now, this is something that is obviously cheap and easy to do. You can do it at home, or if you get into a clinic or a hospital with some sort of bounding heart problem, they might ask you to try doing this, this Valsalva Maneuver. If you're having heart palpitations, you feel that heart just beating out of your chest, and you have a history of SVTs, one thing I want to try is just holding your breath and pushing down, really bearing down. Uh, that, that might be able to treat that without ever going in and seeing a practitioner. Also, as I mentioned, uh, it has another use here in cardiology, and that deals with the blood supply. So we talked about the nerve supply, the nervous system kind of treats those superventricular attack cardias. However, it also has a blood aspect to it, and this is much more diagnostic than treatment. This, is, this Valsalva maneuver can be used to diagnose things like hypertrophy of the heart, or where one side of your heart is enlarged. Uh, it also can be used to diagnose things like regurgitation through the valves, or valve prolapse, or valve stenosis. You might have heard things like that before from your practitioner. And what happens when you bear down like that is you increase the pressure, and that kind of, since you have that increased pressure in your, in your chest, it tells the blood not to come back to the heart. It says, look, man, we got a lot of pressure, there's no room for you, you can't come in. And what we call that in cardiology is the decreasing, the decrease of preload to the heart. Now, if you're a student of cardiology, you probably recognize preload as one of those Frank Starling terms. And preload is essentially, uh, as the blood goes into the heart, it stretches the heart muscle passively, and it allows that heart to contract better. And to a certain extent, in 90% in of cases, as preload increases, the efficiency of the heart, the beating of the heart's gonna be more efficient. So in this case, since we're decreasing that preload, we're gonna be decreasing the efficiency of the heart. And what this does is, especially when you, you have an echocardiogram, which is a test that we'll talk about a little bit later, if you decrease the preload, you're gonna be increasing some problems with your heart and decreasing others. What you're gonna be increasing is you're gonna be increasing uh, those, the hypertrophic cardiomyopathies, the, the times where your heart's really big. If you do the Valsalva maneuver during an echo or during when someone's listening to your heart, that murmur, that hypertrophic murmur is gonna be much louder. Now, if you do it and you have a valvular stenosis, meaning a narrowing, or a valvular regurgitation, meaning that that valve is incompetent, it can't hold the blood uh, on the other side of it like it's supposed to, 